hi welcome to the laravel 11 roles and permissions course so today in this complete series i'm going to explain with the step-by-step -step guide how you can implement the roles and permissions in the laravel 11 so i'm going to use a spotty laravel permission which is very popular and uh, we'll do this from the installation and then we will move further to implement the roles then permissions and then assigning those permission to a role and then further we are going to assign those role to the user so this is complete guide so this one is uh, quite tricky and uh, it's a bit confusing because uh, their tables are a bit as up right so i'm going to explain those uh, things here so i'm going to first install the spotty in the laravel so let's get started so here you need to copy this command to pull this package from your github repository so i'm going to uh, go on to my application roles and permissions and here by the way i have uh, set up this laravel 11 application i have installed the laravel breeze and then i created these uh, views uh, like a simple form then where i will display those uh, values a table then roles uh, then a permissions table and new permissions form right so i have uh, created these things and then also push these things on this github repository so you can pull these uh, things and uh, start it to uh, from here so i'm going to now i have pushed everything here on this repository so you can pull uh, your code from here okay now you can start it from here by installing this composer require laravel permission package okay, so i'm going to my project i have heard this project name is laravel role permission app hit enter and it will install the laravel uh, uh sparty laravel permission okay it's pulling uh, it from the github repository and what's next is uh, you need to register this into the service provider but here the thing is it's optional why it's optional because it will be automatically discovered in the laravel latest version so you don't need to worry about this it's uh, i think uh, from the laravel uh, 7 8 9 10 and 11 you don't need to manually configure this it will be automatically discovered by your laravel application okay good then next we need to run this command to publish the service provider and the config file okay it's done and i'm going to enter this command again okay it's saying that uh, this is uh it's added the config file in the permission directory here you can see this this one is a config file and added some other file like database migration and so on stuff right so for the database migration if i open this out database migration and it's contain multiple tables like uh, first it's going to create the permissions table then our rules table and i'll explain them with the step by step guide so it's a bit confusing but i'll i'll i'm going to make this simpler in this series so model has permission and you need to remember one thing is that everything which name is model it means that it's referencing the user user has permission you can name this something like this uh, model has role model has permission something like this so we'll we are going to use those uh, tables and uh, we need to first migrate those table so here it's recommending that you need to clear your cache so i'm going to run this command to clear cache okay and let me enter it properly i haven't copied it okay just copy it one more time paste it and it's saying that configuration clear cache cleared successfully okay then you need to run the php artisan migrate enter and uh, running migration and created the permission table so it will create multiple tables as i explained in the migration permissions table a role table role has permission and so on right okay and now let's uh, the last thing is we need to add this uh, trait into the model where we want to uh, use this as a users right so by default uh, we are using the user model right we are going to use a user model so i'm going to add this trait into my user model but in this case uh, in your case maybe it's different like you are configuring uh, configuring the admin stuff something like this so you can add this uh, into your admin model right 
but the general preference is I will recommend you that uh, always use user table and create the rules there rather than creating the separating uh, separate rules and stuff so you can manage their roles separately okay uh, so here whenever you install the Laravel application by default it's contain a model which is user model so here I'm going to add this trait here okay use uh, oh my god let's remove this use okay and then we need to add this namespace here at the top so let me also copy this namespace oh it's not mentioned here but anyway I'm going to search it here as role mm, namespace in Laravel something like this okay so here we can copy this uh, has role okay good 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 paste this out spotty has role perfect and uh, I'm going to close this out our installation is almost done let me the stuff okay everything is ready and our installation is completed successfully right you did a great job and from the next video I'm going to move further with the basic usage right just click on this basic usage and we are going to create those uh, roles permissions and then so on other stuff so thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye